Good evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you and your family are doing well. Looking at fair to partly cloudy skies. We're looking over at Lobert's Casino Resort over in Lake Charles, part of the Roofing 911 Skycam Network. No surprise, the drought has worsened, and for the year now, we're down 9.53 inches of rainfall. That's at uh, Jack Brooks Regional Airport. Your results will probably vary, but most of the area is now under a moderate drought, a little worse over towards western Jefferson County, Liberty County, southern parts there, and an extreme drought now over towards Winnie, back over towards Chambers County. Looking at fair to partly cloudy skies, this is high level cloudiness from showers and storms up in towards Arkansas and uh, northeast Texas. Weather watchers over in Port Arthur, MJ reporting 83, it's 83 in Beaumont, and over in Orange, 85 to the north. Still very warm in Jasper at 82, and Woodville Travis at 86, and in Warren, Jim Monk reporting 85. Temperatures across the state, mainly in the 80s and 90s, Dallas at 92. Boy, I bet that 83 feels comfortable up into Oklahoma City compared to what they were dealing with a couple days ago at 110. 88 still in San Antonio, 88 into Midland, 85 in towards Alexandria, Louisiana. Watching showers weakening up towards the north, but extensive cloud cover, that's what's coming down because of that northerly flow aloft into our neck of the woods. And watching some big storms over towards um, Mississippi and Alabama. Modeling trying to bring some of this on off towards the south and west. So we will have to watch this area overnight to see if it holds together. Uh, could make a run for our area coming up late tomorrow afternoon as we got plentiful moisture across Louisiana now moving into East Texas and certainly up into North Texas in the tropics watching a trough of low pressure uh, tropical wave I should say in the southeastern Gulf of Mexico a little convection with that in the Central Caribbean looking pretty good just one tropical wave there and the far eastern Atlantic this is the intertropical convergence zone tropical wave there Basically, over the next five days, tropical development is not expected as we head towards the end of July. And uh, one reason is got a lot of dust out there. That means dry air because of that dust in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Otherwise, tonight looking at a fairly quiet night as uh, skies are generally mostly clear to partly cloudy. I think this is a little bit overdone. Maybe an isolated shower up in the lakes. Temperatures dropping into the mid-70s there. And in the triangle, we'll go with uh, low temperatures, mid to upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Now, if this modeling is correct, then it could get interesting coming up. But I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> Confidence is low that this will happen, but I've got to go with something as far as because of the modeling. Uh, we'll go with a 30 to 40 percent coverage. Boy, wouldn't this be great to see you know, a 50, 60, 70 percent coverage? It's certainly possible. The potential for uh, that happening is because of uh, disturbances coming from the north and then a tropical wave moving in. Otherwise, the high that's in the southwest will move over in the central plains, cutting our rain chances over the weekend and then heads towards the southeast as we work on into the middle of next week. That will allow another disturbance to move in and uh, hopefully bring us some better chances of rain next week. Slightly choppy on the Gulf tomorrow around 2. We'll see south at uh, 10 to 15 knots. Our forecast tonight in decreasing cloudiness, mid to upper 70s to near 80. Then tomorrow we'll go to the 30, 40, 30 to 40 percent coverage. Could be more though, with highs in the mid uh, 90s. And uh, taking a look at the forecast for Saturday, we'll go to the 20 to 30 percent coverage. Then Sunday, Monday looks hot and drier because of that high moving into the central plains. And then bit the big pattern change, that high moving over towards the uh, northeast of our area in the southeastern U.S. We're very hopeful the sea breeze gets active and uh, we see scattered showers and storms uh, much of late next week.